This is the kind of sailing we've been looking for. Whoa! It's Taylor's birthday, and I got two surprises. And it's a combo! We're Mike and Taylor. And these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly all of our belongings, moved onto a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. Embarking on the adventure of a lifetime. Oh my God. This is the story of us forging our own path, exploring the world in Via, figuring it all out as we go, and making our way. our first night uh, between Turtle Bay and Bahia Santa Maria and it's been beautiful we caught like seven skipjack I think and I've heard they're not good eating at least that's what other people are saying so we threw them all back we got a nice sunset there's like 15 16 knots and we're making six knots over ground and it's just been it's been a nice day it's warmer than it's been Smooth seas, we're feeling pretty good. This is the kind of sailing we've been looking for. Making good speed and it's just comfortable and
had a really nice beam reach for a while and then the wind died and we motored and then picked up a little bit and we sailed again and then now it's just been like fluky eight, nine knots from behind us which is enough to make us move but we don't have a light wind uh, like a nylon sail of any kind, no spinnaker or anything. So we're just motoring along. I feel better because there's a boat behind us that's like a Morris 49. It's like a beautiful, fast boat. And they were flying a spinnaker. They just took that down and looked like they started their engine. So that always makes you feel a little bit better. And I'm drinking my coffee and watching the sun come up. Though my sea sickness was far less intense with the smoother seas and steadier boat, I was still unable to take on tasks down below and the thought of food was beyond unappealing. So Mike cooked up the tuna he had caught on the last passage for a pretty amazing captain's dinner underway. As we approached Bahia Santa Maria in the wee hours that night, the wind went from nothing to sustained mid to high 20s, with gusts in the 30s and even 40s. It was a totally unexpected and kind of stressful scramble to handle, but as we tucked into the bay, it totally disappeared. As usual, we slept through most of the following day. That evening, I cooked up the mahi-mahi we caught while the sun set, and it was incredible. Our two nights at this anchorage flew. 
We made a quick stop at the Baja Ha Ha party, but knew that we would be beginning our third leg at midnight. So we left early to get a few hours of sleep before it was time to head off again. But please enjoy this clip from the party of the GoPro accidentally turned on inside our backpack. Picked up the hook uh, about I think 12:30 this morning, 12:30 a.m. on our final run to Cabo. It's like a, it's only like 180 miles, so it's pretty quick. But we wanted to leave in the middle of the night, so that way uh, we would get in. It should be in the morning tomorrow. Part of the reason I want to get there early is because it's Taylor's birthday, and I got two surprises lined up for. Her. One is a. Uh, I got an Airbnb for a few nights. I think she's gonna be super psyched to be able to sleep in like a real bed, take long hot showers, all that after a pretty long run down the coast. Uh, and the other one is her cousin Sarah is flying in. Taylor has no idea. Um, so she gets in tomorrow afternoon. I'm really excited about that, but I wanted to get in early so we could be checked in kind of settle down and uh, start the birthday festivities, hopefully fairly rested. But we're having a great sail. It's like, it's been like 15 to 20 knots behind us, uh, shifting around a little bit. Uh, we were wing on wing and I just went out onto a broad reach. It's warm. Actually, this hoodie is like totally unnecessary. The sun's about to come up over the mountains here. Tomorrow we're gonna be in Cabo. I think we're gonna be able to like see our anchor touch the bottom. And then we're gonna go into the Sea of Cortez. It's been a long time getting here, man. Long time. And I'm ready to party. Ugh. Southernmost tip of Baja, which is, it's actually called Cabo Falso. Cabo San Lucas is the next point. But it's pretty pretty. We're almost there, I think we're an hour out, maybe a little less. And then we gotta check in and celebrate Tay's birthday. What do you think, Lucy? 
Let's see, are you done with sailing for a little bit? Yeah. You did it. Officially checked into Mexico. Even the mongrels. Even the dummies. So we gotta fly our courtesy flag and take down our Q flag. Go do it. I wonder if you can hear my crunching in the background. <laughs> On sailing via. We celebrate in Cabo and make our turn up into the beautiful Sea of Cortez.